Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to put the AFL fast connectors onto a fan out kit. And if you've never done this before, it's a little weird. I don't blame you if you've never done the fan out kit. So, here's what the end of it looks like. And a good customer of mine, he told us he liked to put heat shrink at the bottom, and it really helps the it looks a lot better than seeing just the tube and it holds the, the fan out kit in place pretty good so that's something you might want to think about down the road so basically the fan out kit this is a 900 micron size tubing so loose tubes always 250 size it's a lot smaller and we have an outside plant cable that we're putting through this tube so it's pretty straightforward. You just slide each strand of 250 through it. And then as you can tell, that's what it looks like, the 250 to 900, that's quite a size difference there. Okay, so we're gonna need, after you get your 250 into your 900 tube, we're gonna need at least 35 millimeters. You know, when, you know this, this length I got is way too long. I did, I usually have a habit of that and if you have a little extra like this it, it doesn't matter because we're going to need to trim it down to at least 35 millimeters so with the card here that's included with the AFL kit uh, this bottom here says it's 70 so I figured eh, I'll probably cut it right there okay so once you have your fiber, you're going to want to, the strip length, here we go, 35 millimeters. That's the minimum. You don't have to be exact. If you have a little more, you're cool. And this is for 900 UM. Like I mentioned, that's the size of the fan out and slash fan out. Another thing you might want to do when you first start terminating these connectors is since we're going to do an SC connector today, there's a mark right here, SC to ST. We're going to mark it right there. And I'll show you guys why in a little bit. Now, the only thing I've done here, I've stripped the 250 size off. And I stripped it all the way to where the, the 900 UM size fan out kit starts. So from there to there, we have now eh, something a little over 35, which is fine. So, of course, you're going to want to get a wipe, get to use the fluid and go ahead and clean it go over it with a pinch and the other thing i want to mention from here on out from here on out it's the same everything's the same as a 900 termination so pretty straightforward pretty easy let's finish this connector there we go so we're going to cleave it at the ten and a half mark and one thing i do want to mention that if you don't strip it proper you might want to go over it a second time just in case. There's an acrylic material on there, and if it's not taken off properly, when you go to cleave, you're going to think there's something wrong with your cleaver because it's not working, but it's that material there. Now we want to put, go ahead and put our glass into our connector. See that mark right there at the end? That mark that we made earlier, that butts up to the end of this connector and that lets you know that you had a proper, it butted up properly inside the connector with the other piece of glass where there's mating gel. Forgot to put the boot on. There you go. And there you go, piece of cake. Go ahead and just repeat that process for the rest of the strands and you're good to rock and roll.